It's live from last week, episode 23. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Once again, earlier today, much like last week, I haven't been able to sleep well overnight. Also earlier today, the fiance surprised me. She went to this place up near Midland and Finch to a place called Chungchun, a place that makes specialty Korean style corn dogs. And she treated me to two different kind of corn dogs. The first one was interesting. It was coated in ramen noodles on the outside and had some special dressing drizzled on top. And the second one that I tasted was absolutely delicious. It was a corn dog stuffed with mozzarella cheese in the middle. And if I was to go back to Chungchun, I would definitely order that second one again. And one more thing before I call it in for a night, I have a birthday greeting for Rob. Happy birthday, Rob. If y'all don't know who this guy is, he's a legend at the beach volleyball courts at Woodbine. As far as I can remember, for many years now, this guy has been organizing pickup beach volleyball games and helping grow the sport. And what I admire about him is that he does this week in, week out, whether he is present there or whether he is not. Anyways, Rob, I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a happy birthday and I can't wait to join you on the beach this summer to play some beach volleyball again. After not getting any quality sleep on my past four nights on my days off, this afternoon, I was finally able to take a quality two hour nap before I go in for my first of my three night shifts tonight. So right now, I feel pretty refreshed and ready to go in for work. But earlier today, when I couldn't sleep, I was able to go down to the bank to deposit some cash that I had laying around into my account. And I did this because I wanted to make sure I had enough money in my account just in case I had to make a big purchase later on this week. Is it a down payment for something? A business transaction maybe? Will it be an extra lump sum to help pay off my mortgage? Possibly something for the fiance? Or maybe a brand new toy? But I guess you guys will just have to tune in to later this episode to find out. Hey, check it out. Last night's night shift was definitely not fun. Tell me how last night's night shift, my nose just kept on dripping, running and not stopping. To the point where I had to take off my mask, blow my nose, wash my hands and put on my mask again every 60 seconds. And it's so hard to work in those conditions because when your nose is running like that, your patients can tell. Asking questions like, do you have a cold? Are you okay? And you're not contagious, are you? So when I got home this morning, I took some medications, got some sleep, and hopefully tonight for my second of my three night shifts, my runny nose won't bother me as much as it did last night. But before I go into work tonight, I have a birthday greeting for my Manang Di Ding. Happy birthday, Manang Di Ding. I remember back in 2003 when I visited the Philippines, that was the first time I met you. And at that time, I was able to meet my niece and my nephew, Candice and John Adrian, back when they were about this tall. But anyways, Manang Di Ding, I hope you have a happy birthday. I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I can't wait to see you at the next family gatherings in the future. Coming from yet another stressful night shift, where we were working short staffed with only two monitor trained nurses, for five critically ill monitored patients, where usually there's a two patients for one nurse ratio, my commute home on the motorcycle was full of rain, wind, cold, hail, and even snow. I mean, just look at the headline in the newspaper today. So I got home all soaking wet, I ate, took a nice brief nap, and now I think I'm ready to go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight. I'm just hoping we're not short staffed again. But before I go into work tonight, I have a birthday greeting for Krista. Happy birthday, Krista. I remember meeting you on the beach to play beach volleyball earlier this summer, where we both talked about our travels in Italy, only to be carried away with that, that we didn't even play together at all. Anyways, Krista, I hope you're doing well, that you have a happy birthday, and hopefully later this year, we'll actually get to play together. Today, being Saturday, is the start of the weekend, and it's already been a busy day. First of all, I came off my third of my three night shifts and I decided to stay up a little bit, basically to accompany the fiance in getting her second dose at a local vaccination center. And as you can tell by these videos, there were long lines all around the outside of the mall. Yeah. 
So while she was in line to get her vaccination earlier, I decided to do a little bit of grocery shopping in order to have some food for the morning. I sat down on a local ledge to eat breakfast while waiting for her appointment to be done. And while throwing out the garbage, I saw something in the bin that is going for a quite a bit of sum of money on eBay right now. But guys, don't worry, I didn't pick it out of the garbage. But afterwards, we went to TD to move around some money to make a big Facebook Marketplace purchase. But unfortunately, you'll have to wait until next week to find out what it is that I bought. Mainly because this transaction is still going through process where there's a loan involved and I don't want to jinx it. Nonetheless, later in the morning, we ran into some neighbors that we haven't seen in a while and finally got to introduce ourselves to their new baby boy. <laughs> and look at him, he's so cute. When you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Anyways, after that, I was able to go home, eat, and take a one and a half hour nap before I was woken by a text message from one of my cousins who texted me saying that they were at my condo making a delivery. So by his text, I knew that he was near the elevators and I decided to surprise him. <laughs> After that, I showed him my new Facebook Marketplace buy and this was his reaction. And yeah, that sums up my busy day. But now that I'm home, I'm ready to pass out and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys, take a look how beautiful it is outside right now. I mean, it's an absolutely perfect day to get outside and enjoy the weather. But unfortunately for me tonight, I have a night shift. But at least I got to sleep in a little bit, get a nap in here and there, and now I'm ready and have some energy to go in for work tonight. And as usual, before I go in for my shifts, I have some birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to my Tito Bong. Happy birthday, Tito Bong. I really enjoy hearing your insights and your passion and knowledge of the sport of darts. But I can honestly say that I miss hearing your dad jokes that you crack at all our family gatherings. Anyways, Tito Bong, I hope you're doing well out there, staying healthy, and you have a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting I have for an old friend of mine, Candy. Happy birthday, Candy. I appreciate what you did for me years back when we were at Wysik when you helped mentor me as a CA. And I thoroughly enjoy the posts and stories that you have with you and your son, so I hope that you continue those into the future. Anyways, Candy, I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Say hi to your family for me, and I hope you have a happy birthday. And yet again, after my fourth night shift in five nights, I got only two hours of sleep. But before I go on and tell you guys how my day went, we got some birthday greetings for the last day of May. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to my nephew, John Adrian. Happy birthday, John Adrian. I remember times playing with and against you when you played for both teams for the Flip Olympics football event. And your defense would be so stellar that every time we would play, you would rack up 10 points for yourself in that event. Anyways, nephew, I hope you're doing well, you're staying safe, and that you had a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting I have for a former co-worker of mine, Cindy. Happy birthday, Cindy. I'm remembering times when we would be working together back at BVG. But at the present, I want to let you know that I admire your pics and your posts of your travels in BC. Which gives me inspiration to travel those places when I go back to visit the West Coast again. But yeah, I hope you're doing well and staying safe out there and you have a happy birthday, Cindy. Last but not least, I have a happy birthday greeting to one of my old family friends, Louie, aka Jingoy. Happy birthday, Jingoy! Just want to tell you that I've been seeing your posts and watching your music videos of road cycling at this time. And I'm hoping that you keep working on those videos and providing more content in the future. Anyways, Jingoy, I hope you're doing well and that you had a happy birthday this year. Now moving on to how my Monday went, just like a couple weeks ago, we went to search out some food specials. Going back to a familiar place. And this place was London Fried Chicken. So we got the Monday chicken burger special again. We went back home and by seeing this video, you can tell that I enjoyed my London fried chicken burger once again. 
I mean, the crispiness of the chicken burger, the burger bun, and the fresh cut fries are now one of my favorites. So I definitely think that I'll be going back there sometime in the future again. Also, after my dinner and since the government is allowing outdoor activities for exercise and health, I was able to dust off my tennis racket from storage, call up my cousin, and for the first time in 2021, play some tennis outside. Hope you guys enjoyed that segment and I hope there are more tennis videos for you guys in the future. And now it's come to the end of the episode. So if you guys enjoyed what you've watched today, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.